together, I want to point us to 1 Peter chapter 2. And it begins in verse 6 by quoting from Isaiah 28. It says, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you, but we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation of people for his own possession that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So I've been thinking about what that means, that we collectively are a royal priesthood for his own possession. When we think of those who are priests, sometimes we think about us, the people who, who have microphones in front of them, who stand on this platform and sing songs or preach the word. But this scripture in 1 Peter 2 reminds us that we collectively, as his body, are a royal priesthood. So today, when we come together collectively, we are lifting up this offering of praise as the royal priesthood of our God. So tonight, as we begin in worship, I want us to begin in this place. You know, sometimes we start and we we kick it right into this, this big song as we open. But I want us to begin with this song, this, these words that are a little bit older than some of the songs we normally sing. And I want to keep things a little bit quieter and a little bit more open because I want us to hear the sound of the priesthood coming before the Lord and offering this song of praise. So can we stand and join together? We're going to sing this, Let All Things Their Creator Bless. Let all things their creator bless And worship him in humbleness Oh, praise him Hallelujah oh, We praise, praise the Father, praise the Son And praise the Spirit
Spill my 